Hello, hello, let's go. This is Lord Kicker, and welcome back to another episode of. Uh, well, another update episode of Mini Painting. <laughs> or Mini Update Episode, as I like to call them. Alright, so what have I done this week? I done a whole lot of printing. And a lot of priming. <laughs> so, um. I primed, like, all of my battle sisters. I got all of these primed up. Looking pretty nice. Let's see if we can't get focus. There we go. Yeah, so all of them are primed black. So, quite a few of them. And I also primed up some um, cobalts that I had. These are the winged ones. And a cute little creatures, I like those. I have a thing for cobalts. <laughs> They're adorable. Yeah, so just a bunch of sisters, different kinds. Those are gonna be real fun to paint up, I think. So, yeah. And another wing cobalt with a spear. Really nice. And they also have a shield. And then uh, I have one here trying to sling a rock. And I've also been printing out a battle sister. This one has wings. I think I actually showed it in the last episode. I'm not sure. Or if I printed it just after the episode. Well, anyways, I think this one look freaking cool. So, I am actually planning on doing a... Battle Sister... team for uh, One Page Rules. That's kind of what I printed out all the sisters. Because I think that would be fun to do. And speaking of one page rules, I also been printing out some of the Eternal Dynasty. These are their warriors. I just uh, printed a bunch of those and uh, I think these will show details a little bit better because they are prime black and then I done a little bit of a dry brush. There we go. Now we got focus on there. You can see all of those details. So, quite some fine details in this one. Even like little bells hanging from his helmet. That is actually pretty cool what kind of detail you can actually get on 3D prints. And I mean, all of these fine details on his beer. Yeah, you can just see it curl around all there. The little divots on his... Uh... Wait, what, do, what do you call that? The fabric that he has in front of his... His body? <laughs> Can't figure out a name. Alright, and this one... Was actually... Cinephile highlighted. So it is a lot lighter than the other ones. Kinda wanted to try out a few different techniques. Yeah, and then I have some that I haven't even primed yet. But I printed out a bunch of these because I think it would be fun. I think I'm gonna start with doing like a 500 points Grim Dark Future team with these. So it's just two armies and two leaders. And the armies are five figures. So kind of a fun little idea to get these started. Small, but uh, it's a good way to test them out, see what they can do. 
Alright, and other than that, I also printed another one from... From, uh, wow. Uh, Dreadlock Productions. I know I showed off the Rogue in an earlier episode, and this is the Mage. So I kept the uh, orb in the transparent resin that I'm using, and kind of looks a bit cool. Uh, it is not done yet, though. I kind of need to put on some more skin tone to lighten it up in places. This is just the base on there. But yeah, really cool model. I really like it. Uh, I'm gonna put a link up for that one too. Alright, and I also primed and Cinefil highlighted my Vigilors. Oh, I got <laughs> like five of them. And I think I showed these in an earlier episode that I actually built them. But now they're all primed and centerfold. So all that is need doing now is put some paint on these. And yeah, really nice models. I really like them. I'm a sucker for Stormcast Eternals. Oh yeah, and this sister I think I actually showed off in an earlier episode, but I don't think I put any of the dry brushing on her then. This one too has been... I guess you could call... well it is kind of slap shop. Because I had done the dry brushing with a grey, then a lighter grey, and then a white. Because I wanted to go in stages. And just go having less and less and less. And I also have a, another one of the sisters. This one is holding like a lantern. But yeah, gonna be really fun to get that team set up though. And I also printed out uh, a little bit of a big one. But this is some kind of a female orc. <laughs> a little suggestive, maybe. Holding up a skull a lantern and a double axe. She has some nice curves to her. <laughs> uh, mostly because I want to try and uh, paint up the skin on this one, that's mostly the reason why I painted, printed it. Just so I can try a little on it. And it's also a good thing that, that it's big, because then you can get more in there and try and make more detailed. So yeah, I think that one is going to be nice to paint. Because, uh, I kind of like painting big things, so I do have my first 3D print that I ever did, and it is actually a failed one. So, this here is it. And you might notice that her shin is actually collapsed, it's very short. So she looks weird. So this is my first ever 3D print. That I painted up. Uh, yeah, I might actually revisit this one because it is a very nice model. And I even tried to paint the eyes. Not the best. Probably could do a whole lot better. But, I mean, seeing as this was more or less just artist paint. I think I had maybe some speed paint. I think most of it was like artist paint from Winston and Newton. Because I had that laying around because I used to do paintings, so. <laughs> but I could use some of that. Alright, and other than that, I also 
done just a little bit on this big demon. I think I showed him off in the last episode too. I have actually started doing the letter parts. And I don't know if I showed off this mouth thing then. It really starts to look like a mouth now. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I should put in some, um, some wash or something to make it go darker, deeper in there. Like a black wash. I think that look, would look cool. And I've also done a little more on the eyes to make them more yellow. Kind of like if there is a fire burning in there. I mean, zooming in on this guy, he is pretty creepy. Uh, losing focus. There we go. Just look at our freaking face. I think I've done a pretty good job getting the color on there, though, because this looks scary. <laughs> I mean, this could be in a horror movie for sure. <laughs> All right, so. I think that is more or less. It. Don't think I've done anything else this week. Yeah, I'm not sure that is it. But yeah, I printed a lot and painted a little too little. And uh, probably gonna print a whole lot more than seeing as I want to do a sister's army, so. <laughs> but I will also try and paint them up. At least get uh, a set of our a unit, not a set of armies. So. Hell, it would be impossible. <laughs> At least a unit or more fixed until next week. I don't know. Maybe I shall do a. How about I do a couple of units of the Eternal Dynasty? And a couple of units of the Battle Sisters. That could be kind of fun. I mean, then we can put them up against each other. That could be pretty cool, because I'm pretty sure both of them are shooter units. Yeah, so that could be real nice. I'm going to make them foot soldiers only then. I mean, I do have some bikers for the sisters, so... Uh, can get this one in focus. There we go. Yeah, so this is a biker that I printed and uh, primed. Yeah, so uh, probably not gonna put those up against the <laughs> foot soldiers, because that kind of seems cruel though, right? Well, uh, I don't know. I mean, if I do that, they probably won't get much in terms of foot soldiers. But I'm gonna try and at least make one unit of each painted up until next week. That's gonna be my little, what should I say, goal? My little goal for next week is to have that done. Alright, but tell you what, I think I'm just gonna end off this episode here. I do hope you have enjoyed it and I hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, bye bye!